It's pretty when it's night, night time. Yeah. This is the living room. And they have a big, huge television over here. I'll open it. Hold on. That's the kitchen, the living room, and the art room. Bed, the television, and what do you mean water bed? It's not a water bed. Yep, and then the CR. That's water bed. I don't think so. It's huge. We have a free water designated room. Room one. Room one, room two, but yeah, it's almost empty. And he is You should use our water, the warm one, so. That's gonna work anyway. We provided some coffee, tea, sugar, all kinds of nice here. There's also cereals. You can reheat the, ano, the food from yesterday if you want. I still have some papao. The pan. We have to eat the pan. Oh, la, la. I'm scared. I have a bar. So it's a nice kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And, well, of course, it seems like this place is probably an older place, but they renovated it. I'm going to success. And then there's a instruction for all the garbage can and I really love the setup in the dine. Dine in but right? That's Kitchen. Dine in area pala. Dine in area. And the living room is huge too. You can watch TV. You love the driveway and the what? Got this overhang here. It's nice, especially when it's raining. We just stand here and be like, wow. I think it's Philippines or, or like that too. Yeah. Or the other like thing that. is, all these houses in this area are like, right now, really expensive. Like, this is probably like 300,000. Mm. Nothing fancy, but still. Because like, you're a little city, that's right. I really love the, I don't know, the birds singing, you know? Early this morning when we wake up. Yeah, me too. Until now. Come on, your coffee is boiling. And he's preparing coffee for me. Nana. <coughs> wow. Sounds like a broken record. Can you get it? Now? Oh, so here's the outside for the backyard. Like it is huge and uh, it's sunny, and that's the barbecue thing which we didn't use. So let's go back. Oh, by the way, one downside of having this Airbnb is I find some um, mosquitoes and flies, but we kill them all so and so for the internet speed they have 85 mbps which is a good thing because i really need that they have free parking definitely uh, we were able to park the bmw and the prius outside and then there's another guest 
um, parking their car. Uh, the security here is awesome. They have washer and dryer, which I've used personally. Palang. And then it's extremely near to different places here in Fort Lauderdale, especially for especially in the beach area. So it's near there and and they are offering a lot of services as well. Aside from the Airbnb, you could bring your dogs, but there's a certain uh, price or additional price for it or pets. And also they are servicing like um, if you need a ride going to the airport. So yeah. I really like this place. It's huge and as you can see, it's sparkling clean. So here's another clip. First time that we've arrived in this set Airbnb. breakdown we are staying here for six nights it's $32 per night so 32 times 6 is 192 there's a service fee of 33.46 and a cleaning fee of $45 there's also an occupancy and taxes and fees which is $30 and 81 cents I already checked all the Airbnb or most of the Airbnb here in Fort Lauderdale and they all have that so I think this is a reasonable price for this kind of Airbnb. So that's that. So I tour you in this Airbnb apartment. Again, they have like three bedrooms to rent. If you wanted to visit Fort Lauderdale and you want to stay at the same place I've stayed, then this is the place that you can go to. And also, I have a discount for you. If you sign in or sign up to Airbnb using the link on the description below, then you can get a discount. Also, for the complete address of this apartment, I'm going to put that on the description, so check that out. 